Hello everyone, it's Erin, and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use your Ledger device with Moonriver. I'll be covering how to import your Ledger account to MetaMask and sign transactions on your Ledger device. This guide uses a Ledger Nano X, but you can follow along with a Ledger Nano S as well. Before diving in, there are a few prerequisites. First, connect your Ledger device to your computer and unlock it. Ensure you are using the latest version of Ledger Live and your device is running the latest firmware. Install the Moonriver app from the Ledger Live app catalog and install MetaMask and connect to Moonriver. For complete instructions on how to use your Ledger device with Moonriver, including how to install the Moonriver app, you can visit our doc site by scanning the QR code at the bottom corner of the screen. From the doc site, you can also connect MetaMask to Moonriver using the button at the top of the page. To get started, you'll need to import your Ledger account to MetaMask, so go ahead and open up MetaMask. Click on the colored circle in the top right corner, and then you can go ahead and select Connect Hardware Wallet. From there, you can choose Ledger and Continue. MetaMask will look for your Ledger device, but it shouldn't take too long. If you're on Chrome, a pop-up should appear and you'll be able to select your device to connect via Web HID. If MetaMask is able to connect successfully to your Ledger device, you'll see a list of Moonriver accounts. If not, double check that Ledger Live is closed, you've connected your device to your computer and unlocked it, and that the Moonriver app is open. From the list of accounts, select the accounts you would like to import from your Ledger device and unlock them. Now you can see your Ledger account balance in MetaMask. To copy your address to receive a transaction, say for example if you needed to load your Ledger account up with Moonriver tokens, you can do so here. But to get started sending a transaction, go ahead and click on Send. Now go ahead and enter in the recipient's address. I'm going to enter in Alice's address. Enter the amount of Moon River tokens to send, adjust the gas if you need to, and click Next. And from here, you can review the transaction details, and to initiate the transaction on your Ledger device, go ahead and click Confirm. Over on your Ledger device, you'll be prompted to review the transaction. Click the button on the right to proceed. Check that the recipient address is correct and click the right button. Verify the amount of Moon River tokens looks correct and click the right button again. Then you'll be shown the max gas fees for the transaction. This is the gas price multiplied by the gas limit that you set on MetaMask. Again, click the right button to proceed. If you agree with all the transaction details, you can approve the transaction. If not, you can click the right button to get to the reject screen and then click both buttons at the same time to reject the transaction. To approve it, you will need to go back to the Accept and Send screen. So click the left button, and then to confirm, click both buttons. You'll see that the transaction now shows up under the Activity tab, and once the transaction has gone through, you'll see that your balance has decreased. You can also interact with smart contracts using your Ledger device. Assuming you still have the Moonriver app open on your device, click the right button until you get to the Settings screen. Click both buttons to see the settings available to change. You should see the blind signing screen, and it should show not enabled. To enable it, go ahead and click both buttons. You're all set. Now you can interact with contracts using your Ledger device. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.